welcome back to a new vlog. Um, today is going to be a daily vlog and not a weekly vlog because I have something very exciting that I want to share with you guys that I've been keeping secret for a year now and it's finally coming to life and it's finally out there and I'm really excited about it. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to share with you this morning. And then this afternoon we'll see what we do. I have some work to do. I'm gonna go on a run with my mom over lunch. And I'm gonna show you what I make for food today. So let's get into what we've all been expecting for a freaking year. And that is a clothing collection, which I have been designing with a designer from Berlin. Um, her name is Andrea and she's very excited about this all project that we've been working together. It's been a wonderful collaboration and it's just been really beautiful to work together with her because I have been like draw like she's been doing most of the drawings but I've created the new mood boards. There was just so much thought that went into the creation of the pieces that I'm about to show you. So before I go and show you what the pieces actually look like, I wanted to like take us back a little bit to where it all started and like kind of like the process with it all. Um, Cause like we did a lot of, like we tried a lot of samples, uh, looked into many different alternatives. But first of all, like with Andrea, how it worked is that she uh, sent me a bunch of samples of M different materials and we had initially started working on a, like a summer collection but then because of COVID everything took so much time that uh, we decided to do more of a like not fall and winter but like yeah more fall spring collection that's kind of like in between so there was a lot of these fabrics that we ended up not using but it was nice to like you know you have to do research about it and then we did also, um, she looked into many like different white fabrics. There's also a lot of dead stock. So basically there, um, a lot of the pieces in the collection are created out of fabrics that um, have not been used um, in the industry and that would otherwise be either like thrown away or burned or just stored somewhere without being used. And that's really something that we wanted to, to include in the collection because you know why create new fabrics when we already have like huge warehouses filled with fabrics and like I unfortunately because of COVID wasn't able to travel there but um, Andrea went there and she um, showed me like the videos of the, this place and there are many places like that in the world um, I was just blown away by the amount of fabric that's just there sitting there and not being used and I, I think like if we can make something beautiful out of it and have it people using that then it's like beautiful. Then we also looked at like knits. So here it was like a different like different colors but mostly like different um, materials of knits. Cause um, so as a vegan like I try to avoid wool and cashmere. I do wear organic wool and I do wear some like recycled cashmere and I'm not completely against these fabrics but I was like if we can find like a, an organic cotton yarn or like another type of yarn that I don't know of um, that's extremely soft, still warm and thick and comfortable to wear then I really would really want to work with that and we definitely picked um, some yarns and we did two knit uh, wear pieces which I'm going to show you in a little bit um, but yeah it was really interesting also to feel the difference between like you know some linen yarn mix of cotton and linen yarn and then like this is recycled um, denim yarn um, recycled cotton like it's just so beautiful to see the different ones this is some more fabrics um, that we took from the dead stock. And we decided what to do with which one of them. And then also we did some research with the buttons. Um, so that was also really interesting 
because uh, we found like um, some hemp buttons. We found, I mean, she found. She's the queen behind all of this project. I just helped a bit with the design and the idea for the collection. Obviously, definitely put my whole style and and desire into it and passion into it. But she's more of the one who took care of all the production side to it. So yeah, like buttons, um, hemp, cotton, coffee also. Like there were some really crazy things to see and it was really nice to see what the availabilities were, the possibilities were on the market. And then some more, some more sampling and fabrics and threads, which those are these ones. It's just, it's just so beautiful, and bamboo as well. So beautiful to like discover all of these in a, like a raw form. Like I do get to wear a lot of clothing that's made sustainably with very innovative materials. Um, but yeah, like it's just extremely, it was an in extremely interesting process for me. And this was also like some other fabrics which were really beautiful. And yeah, just just like a lot of like notes and creation went into this. And it's, I kept all of it because it's just so special and it's, it's just crazy how to see like how far we've come with it and how we were able to narrow it down and to make it into what it is now. So let's show you what it is now because I'm just too excited. This is, this is just the hard work that we did for a year, but it ended up into something beautiful and that's something that I want to show you now. So I'm going to show you the pieces, what they look like on, but basically that's what we are working with right now. There are two blouses a skirt, two pair of pants, a t-shirt, ribbed t-shirt, a jumpsuit, the cardigan, and the jumper. So what about I show you a couple outfits so that you can see what it looks like on me. You'll be able to see more photos also on my Instagram and on the website, but I thought like having like moving footage of me wearing it could actually be very helpful. So I'm gonna show you right now. Quick update, I'm popping on here. Um, things never go as planned, you know, like with COVID and all these things. So here you go. We had an issue with the pants uh, that we'll show you in the upcoming outfits. So these pants will come out um, later on and they will have a slightly different design. These will come out later on, so that's why um, they won't be on the shop yet. And what we're gonna do um, is that the pants, we are gonna do like the same version of these pants, but in a much more lighter fabric, which will be a lot more suitable for spring and summer, which is where we're heading towards right now. So um, these will come, they are still in production, they're not ready yet, but um, all the other pieces have uh, launched and you guys can go and check them out and just keep posted for the pants. If you're interested in the pants, um, I will definitely let you all know whenever these are ready and on sale. Okay, outfit number one. Um, these pants, there's two, there's this one in beige and there's the other one in blue. We might restock them also in the green color, like the jumpsuit, we'll see how things go. Um, but for now, there's the beige one and the blue one, and that's how they look like also behind. What I really like about the pants uh, specifically is this detail in the pocket. Uh, this is something that we chose together, and I just think it's so pretty. Yeah, they're like high-waisted ankle length. And the t-shirt, this is like the, a cream, it's not white, it's like a cream, um, cream t-shirt with a round neck, quite up high, uh, longer sleeves, and it's not see-through, I really like it. It's very soft material, it's a beautiful organic cotton. This is the cardigan, and that's probably like the...
piece out of the collection which I am most proud of. Um, I just think it just falls so beautifully. It's just like the perfect length. And the knit is just very nice. It's extremely, it's quite thick. It's, and it's all organic cotton yarn. Yeah, I just like this cardigan a lot. And because um, I wanted to, it to be versatile, so you can wear it open, but you could also um, wear it closed and without anything underneath. That's why we put like a button up until here and not finished it there so that like you could wear it without anything underneath and wear it as like a full on like kind of jumper. Okay, next outfit, it's, um, so these are the blue pants, the navy pants, same as the white, the beige ones, um, but in navy, I like those a lot. The material is slightly different. The material on the beige one is a bit more like thick and stiff, uh, more like cargo pants. These ones are a little bit more soft and a little bit thinner, but they do still keep the shape. So um, that's that. And I really like the like midnight blue navy color. It's very pretty. And then the blouse, it's uh, this one is made out of um, dead stock. Also the pants are dead stock. So that's why it's not exactly the same um, feel as the beige pants. It's just because it's just different uh, fabric and a different color. Um, this is also dead stock fabric. Um, I really like this blue. I think it's just, it's just a very pretty blue. I don't know. <laughs> I just like it a lot. Um, it's a very soft and thin material. This shirt does not feel like a shirt on. It feels like very soft and gentle. It doesn't feel like crunchy like certain shirts do. And then there is the jumper. And this one, so this one is slightly, um, it's not exactly how it, it will be lo looking like on you guys because this was the first sample and we had to adjust a few things. That's the one I have. So, there you go. So I really like this neckline here that was something i really wanted and also the sleeves um it's like this very like gray beige color it's not like a really warm beige but i think it just looks very pretty with the navy as well um so a few things that will look different it will be slightly bigger and more oversized a little bit especially like the sleeves here clearly they were a little bit too short at least for my long arms so this is something that was fixed and that uh, you guys won't encounter and again this is also um organic cotton like the cardigan i like these two together i think they they match really well and the colors just just work really well together i like it a lot uh, i want to stay the whole day in this outfit now i might put it on after again <laughs> and here is the last outfit. There's still the skirt. Um, I'm not going to show you because I wore all the tops already and I have some really great pictures with the skirt as well which um, will be up on my Instagram and it will be up on the website as well. But I freaking adore this outfit. And so the jumpsuit is made out of um, a dead stock material and it's so soft and smooth and flowy and just the most comfortable thing ever it really feels like being almost like in a pj but it looks so put together you could wear it in the summer as well with just a t-shirt or a little top underneath you could wear it in the winter with like a, a the jumper for example underneath um it's really possible to like layer it and versatile it um I like it a lot. It's just so good. It's this very dark green color, which I think is beautiful. And then the shirt is actually organic cotton. We'll, we'll have more of that fabric, so we will be able to restock the shirt um, 
or even like the blue shirt, the design of the blue shirt is slightly different at the color and we'll be able to restock the blue shirt in white, for example, because uh, the blue uh, fabric was dead stock. So we are, we have a limited amount, but when it comes to this fabric, we can do more of. So depending on how much you guys like it, I just love the pleated details. Like, yeah, I, did, I didn't want to just create a random simple white shirt. Uh, these are easy to find on the sustainable market, like sustainable fashion mar market. And I wanted to create something like a little bit more special and something that is still like a white shirt, but if you wear like super basic items with it, this is just gonna pop out a lot um, while still remaining like very classic in a way. Um, I like the hidden button thing here, made it so that they're hidden. And then the pleats around the collar, the pleats on the shoulders, um, really, really nice. And it, it also doesn't have like a super, super crunchy shirt uh, feel on it, which is really nice. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the pieces. And I'll put a link down below in the description with the website. We have a very, very, very limited amount of pieces and let me talk to you a little bit about them. The reason why we don't have a large amount of pieces, there's a few. The first one, um, there's the dead stock thing, which when we buy like a, a piece of dead stock fabric, we buy what's left and then we use it and when it's done, there's no more. In terms of the production, we had been working with two seamstresses only um, and that's a huge amount of work. Uh, one of them was doing the knitwear and the other one was doing all of the rest. So this is also why like we can't produce super large amounts, like the production takes time. Now we move the production to something a little bit faster and where there's a few more people helping, but it's still a very small scale production, which means we're gonna try and restock as much as we can when things get sold out, but we don't want to produce more than what is gonna be sold because I don't. We don't want anything to go to waste. If anything, this collection is also um, the purpose of it is also to like not throw away beautiful fabrics that could be used. We're really gonna do our best to restock what you guys are interested in and then like think about how we could work in the future so that there's a little bit more quantity and so that everyone can order and there's not like this rush to order. Yeah, it's a very limited at, like collection. But it was also the first time for me and Andrea to work that way and we didn't want to take too many risks in creating a large amount of quantity. And it's also a little bit difficult to predict how much you guys will love the pieces and how much you guys will purchase them so we will try to adapt as much as we can to whatever demand that we get so if you guys have any feedback for us um, regarding anything really about the collection we're more than grateful to receive it because we're learning as we're doing this and we want to improve and we want to get better and we might come up with new things in the future so yeah, any feedback, any thoughts, any suggestions um, are more than welcome. You can comment them down below, you can send an email. So all the link will be down in the description so you have access to the collection. Um, if you have any questions about anything, that let us know. And then uh, for the shipping, we decided to partner up with Pack Help and they have a really nice recycled cardboard boxes and we thought that would be one of the most sustainable way for us to ship our parcels so i'll put a link also to pack help who also was helping us in this process to create like really beautiful um, boxes and and um, shipping alternatives that are a little bit more sustainable and eco-friendly so i'm gonna take this off now um, i'm gonna put on my running clothes because i'm going on a run with my mom uh, over lunch break i'm gonna have lunch with her and I'll see you guys after that. <laughs> So, 
I came back from lunch, uh, from the run with my mom and I just made some lunch. Uh, we had a little salad with my mom, but honestly, like, I'm starving these days, so I made lunch number two. <laughs> mm. So let me show you. So I made this beautiful salad. Um, this is this type of salad. I don't know what it's called in English. I'm, if you know, let me know in the comments. Some roasted potatoes, avocado, cucumber, um, these falafels, and then tahini, coconut yogurt, lemon juice, salt, pepper. Guys, you really need to try to put coconut yogurt in your savory dishes. It tastes delicious. I received some beautiful ethical and sustainable bed sheets um, from a brand called Undercover Living. It's so beautiful and the quality and the softness of it is just wonderful and I cannot wait to sleep in this. I got the one in uh, tensile and cotton and it's just so soft. I wish you guys could feel it but it feels like you know, it's really good hotel sheets, but like brand new. I love it. I'm so excited to sleep in here. What did I do this afternoon? I ordered, finally ordered, I'm very tired of these bangs. They need to grow. Almost, almost grown enough. I ordered a dining table, which I'm really, really excited about. And it said that it was on st in stock and that it would be delivered like within a week and then I placed the order and then I received an email that said that I was going to receive it in a month so <laughs> I'll have to be a little bit more patient with that um but that is coming and I'm really excited and um yeah it's just been it's just taken a while but I'm happy I took the time and I'm happy I didn't like purchase tons of things for the apartment without really thinking about it and yeah I think it's gonna be really really nice so I'm really really happy about that and I can't wait to share it with you guys whenever it comes uh, probably in like three weeks or something we'll see hopefully earlier I have all of my books like that are piled up there and then also piled wait, just put that away behind this door because I don't have a shelf at the moment uh, I have one in the living room, which is not big enough to put all my books, but then at the same time, there's a lot of books that I don't really want to keep. There's a lot of books that maybe I don't want to read anymore, which I never read. There are probably books that I've read and I don't want to keep. There's probably books that... Maybe some of them I want to keep. So, I'm going to go through them and try and um, minimize a little bit my books so I can bring them back. Um, and donate them and just keep the ones that I really want to read like within this year for example um, or maybe a little bit more than just this year but you know I don't want to keep like stuff for like who knows when I'll have even the time to read them that's gonna be a, a video of me tidying up my books <laughs> quinoa and chickpeas and kale. Put the heart open. Interesting. Excited to try this. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven. 
and we'll see how that tastes. Um, I very rarely eat like already pre-made like um, foods, but I had seen that one in the store for a while and it did get my attention and I was like, listen, these days I'm really busy. Um, sometimes it's just nice not to have to worry about cooking. So, that's what I'm gonna do tonight. Ooh. I need to drink something. I'm gonna have to buy um, salad. Maybe I'll make a small salad with that as well. I feel like eating some veg. I've eaten a lot of salad lately, which has been really nice. So I'm getting really used to it. Um, yeah. Let's see how that is. It doesn't look bad. It looks interesting. The pizza is ready. Can you see? Just took it out of the oven. I put some vegan feta cheese on top as well. Um, which I love. Well, it's not feta. It's like... Greek cheese. If you know, you know. This is really good and I hadn't bought it in a while because the grocery store is where I usually do my grocery shopping. Don't have it. But it's really, really good. I think it's my favorite vegan cheese. It's cucumber. I don't know what this is called. It's like a type of salad that's a bit better. And then celery and coconut yogurt dressing with sesame oil and sesame seeds. So yeah, that's gonna be my wonderful dinner. Who is ready for taste test time? I am. I hate cutting pizza. Wait, I think I have a pizza cutting thing. Yeah, Chloe has a, a pizza kit thing, which she never uses, and oh, that's much easier. Now I can start liking cutting pizza. I never eat pizza, so that's why. Mm. It's nice. It doesn't really taste like a pizza. Because I don't think there's tomato sauce, it's like a beetroot sauce, I think. And then there is probably like spinach or something, and chickpeas, and pieces of beetroot, and then vegan cheese. The crust is a bit, it's not thick, but like, I like very thin crusts. But it tastes really good. Really not bad. Um, so, uh, that's gonna be it for today. I'm just having some tea. I have a book. And I don't know actually if I'm gonna read or watch a movie. I do feel like watching a movie. So, I think I'm gonna watch a movie. And then I'll go to bed. I did a few phone calls with some friends, which was really lovely. Thank you all so much for watching this video. It really means the world to me and I hope you did enjoy it. It was my first daily vlog in a while and I hope that was nice as well to maybe see more about my day like in depth instead of like kind of an overview throughout the whole week if you like that format better also let me know uh, that might be something that i'll do more in the future as well and yeah thank you so much and i'll see you next week bye